Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nora Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials, and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to create a library, and inside of that library we're going to create an event, and uh, inside of that event we're going to create a project. So let's begin and go ahead and launch Final Cut Pro. Now the reason you have a library, an event, and a project is a library you can basically group everything together into one. For example, I have a library here called Known Row Films, and within that library I have my uh, Known Row Films uh, event, and then also within the event we have our project, and uh, this is where we do all of our tutorials. Now also you have within, automatically created within the library is the Smart Objects, or Smart, I believe it's called, it's, yeah, Smart Collections, and within Smart Collections you can find all of your videos, um, audio onlys, favorites or projects or just stills and you can basically sort them or they'll be sorted within this uh, smart collections so let's go ahead and minimize this and create our own library what you're going to do is go to the very top and go to file new and i'm going to go to a library and i'm going to name my library uh just uh other just for tutorial purposes and uh, your guys's you can create yours and uh call it uh, whatever you would like and it'll just save it in the default location which should be somewhere under movies and it will be within the final cut so go ahead and hit save it'll create that library for you it'll show you the smart collections and it'll give you an um, automatic event credit created in there by the date you can simply either edit this one by simply clicking on it one more time when it's highlighted and then change it the name to whatever you would like I'm going to change mine to uh, tutorial and uh, also you can create an event if you don't like this event you can go go ahead under other the library other you can go ahead and hit file file and then go to new event also you can right click on this and um, it will give you an option to create a new event and we're going to cover call this event other for example and we want it in the library other and we want it to create a new project we're going to uncheck that because we're going to create a project manually ourselves now that we have a we got our event other and the other <laughs> event which is tutorial we don't really need both of them but we're just going to, I just wanted to show you guys how to create the event yourself manually so under the tutorial we have actually nothing and what we're going to do is we're going to want to create a project within this event so you can either right click this under tutorial or you can go to file new and then project and we're going to call this project file cut pro 10.2 tutorial and uh, we want it under the uh, um, the other library and under the tutorial event I mean event yeah and go ahead and hit enter we're actually gonna hide this inspector pane on the right hand side by clicking this that way it expands this and gives us our full view now if we get up double click on the project it'll open up the timeline for it which is going to have absolutely nothing in it and this is where we come into importing media which you can go ahead and start by simply dragging and dropping files in here or going to this little option at the center section here with the little down arrow and you can begin importing but we'll cover that in the next tutorial and that that's how you would create a project an event and a library all in one tutorial thank you guys for watching catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my Love